this is Marco Perez, and we would like to welcome everybody back to PracticallyAndroid.com, where we go through practical and beneficial ways to use your Android in everyday life. So today we're going to show you guys one very easy app to control all the sounds that your Android makes, so that you can avoid all those super awkward experiences of being in either in a classroom or at church, or just in a very serious conversation, and your phone going off. Um, and especially so, I know a lot of people that will have all these funny ringtones, like you have email or whatever the case may be. That makes the situation even worse, I think. So um, I'm going to show you guys the app I use that I feel works really well. It's a free one that's, that works, that's awesome, as well as just some, some other basic things. And actually, let's get started with the basic things. How can you moderate or change, control the sounds on your Android? It's actually kind of easy. It just takes a couple of steps. Um, from the home screen, hit menu, and then settings, and then sound. And then you just hit volume right here. And there you can adjust the ringtone for when your phone rings, media for when you're listening to music or videos or whatnot, alarm for if you set an alarm in the morning, whatnot, and notifications. So if you get a text message, email, etc., um, the volume of that. Um, and then these boxes here, you can set up so that the ringtone will be the the control volume for the media I like to actually have them separate or you can have the the ringtone be the same for notification which again I like to have those separate but you might like to have those the same so that's kinda how that works so I'm gonna hit OK but let's say every time you do want to change any of these you know and you're in the home screen menu settings sound volume and then adjust that's just too many steps especially if you're quickly going into a class and want to um, go into a class or whatever some meeting and you want to adjust these volumes that's kind of annoying every time right so what you can what can you do there are um, apps in the marketplace and you can do a quick search for sound management or notification manager and there's a bunch on there and I actually have tried uh, a bunch of different ones the one I'm going to show you today is actually my favorite not only because it's really easy to use um, well once you go get over the learning curve which after you watch this video you'll be a pro um, and it not only allows me to adjust my settings just one tap away from you know being able to adjust my my sound settings but it also allows me to set schedules which is actually a lifesaver especially where most of our lives are pretty structured for the most part I mean not everything, but you know, there's you know either school or work that we can block out, and maybe we know what kind of settings we can set, or how how we can set our sound preferences during the time that we're in that setting. And with this app called Sound Manager, you can do it. So um, here's what it looks like: Sound Manager version two. We always want the latest and greatest, right? Um, and here is what the app looks like right here. Now, when you launch it. This is a really cool thing. So when you launch it, you're going to see um, quick access to all those same volumes that we saw in the menu setting, but just one tap away. So that in itself is a lifesaver. The other thing that's really sweet is if you notice to the left of all these um, places where you adjust the volume is a schedule button. That's where you can set schedules, for example, when I'm in class or when I'm at work or whatever. So, um, and I'm going to show you how to do that, and it's not very hard once you know how to do it but it's not very intuitive I remember the first time I downloaded this I kind of you know grasped the concept of schedules and, and saw how it would be beneficial but it took some tinkering tinkering around to figure it out so I'm gonna show you that right now so for example um, one of the one of the um, schedules that I have on my um, on my phone is a notification schedule because for a long time I just put everything on silent on my phone um, so that would silence everything. Basically, it would be kind of like this mute right here. Mute. So everything's down to zero. So one night, or I remember I woke up one day and I, I had a bunch of missed calls and people trying to contact me. There was some kind of an emergency and I can't even remember what, what, what it was. But I just remember waking up super worried about what the heck was going on. Um, but ha had my phone not been a complete silence, I probably would have got up taken care of the emergency and been just fine but um, but if I left my phone on every night 
you know, sometimes they get emails at night or text me, whatever the case may be. I don't want all those sounds keeping me up at night, especially where I'm a light sleeper. Um, so this is how I was able to um, figure this out. I did a schedule for my notification to go all the way mute after 10 p.m. and then turn back on by itself at 7 a.m. And that way I'm, I'm able to leave the ringer volume by itself or leave the ringer volume, volume on in the event that something happens, some kind of emergency, people can still get a hold of me and I can wake up at night. Um, not only that, it makes it so that I don't have to like every night sit there and, and turn down the volume and, and blah, blah, blah. So it just does it on its own, autopilot, and I love it. So let me show you how that works. Basically, all you do to start is tap schedule. And then when you're in this screen, you hit the menu button and tap new schedule. Okay, so the way this works is you first tell it, um, so I'm going to tell it from Sunday to Saturday at 7 a.m. I want the notification to be here. I don't want it really to vibrate and I want this as, as an active notification. Done. So now every day at, um, at 7 a.m. it's going to adjust it. And if you saw that, there was, um, it said notification was adjusted to this um, because it's after 7 a.m. so it's set, that it's, not, it's set, you know, it's, it's adhering to this schedule that I've just set. So um, what I, then what you do is you, you set another schedule for it to end. So for example, I'm going to do, uh, check all the days here. Let's say if I only want to like on certain days or whatever, but this is something I do every night. So then what I'm telling it is, okay, from Sunday to Saturday, starting at 10 p.m., I want the notification volume to be zero. Done. So then what will happen is every, every day starting at 10 p.m., the notification will go to zero. Then at 7 a.m., the notification will go back to a normal level. And I don't have to do anything. This is sweet. So you kind of get the idea how beneficial this how beneficial this could be, especially where you can choose which days you do want it to be on or off, um, what time you want it to start. So for example, um, during class, if you have, um, you know, and it might require a little bit of work, but let's say you have three classes in one day, and you don't want to have to be turning on turning your phone not, notification or sounds on or off at the beginning and end of each class. Well, just make some schedule for it. Well, let's say you have some some meetings that are very regular and, you know, etc. So the sky's the limit here, you guys, and it's really cool. But that's an easy way to control all the sounds to avoid embarrassing moments. So that's it for today. If you guys have any questions, feel free to send an email to staff at practicallyandroid.com or just go on practicallyandroid.com and on the top right-hand side of the of the page, there's a link that says Android Questions. Or you guys can go ahead and just send us a voicemail. The phone number is 385-200-0140. And we'll, we're, we'll be more than happy to listen to all those and we'll answer to those as well. So that is it for today. And remember, for a more practical life, practicallyandroid.com. Take care, y'all. We would like to welcome everybody back to practicallyandroid.com where we go to practical and dang it, music or to YouTube or whatever the case may be. And speaking of that, my phone totally just went off, which is awkward. That sucks.